Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can send your Widevine L1 issue report to Xiaomi or Poco on any Poco device. And those of you who have lost L1 on your Poco devices, Alvin has been responding on Twitter, which is why I am making this video showing you how to do this. Now, some of you would be like, hey Manchi, we've already lost hope and all those things feel free to lose hope those who want to take action feel free to follow the video as well so first of all go into settings then you will go into about phone all specs here and tap on me ui version seven times you will get a toast notification you are now a developer go back to the main settings and here and go into additional settings you should have a new option called developer options tap on that here we need to look for an option called log buffer size so here it is log buffer sizes right now it is set as 256k set this to 16m which means 16mb and once that is done reboot your device once we have booted back we can go into settings and verify the change is still there so settings additional settings developer options and look for the option which we just changed which was your log buffers size here it is it is set as 16 mb next thing we need to do is download the widevine l1 certificate so make sure you do have an active internet connection and then you do need to add a fingerprint so if i go into settings password and security as you can see i do not have any security measures set up right now so let me set up a fingerprint first so i have set up my fingerprint and we can now go into fingerprint unlock it of course wants my pin and once i enter my pin you will notice i have multiple options over here go into fingerprint payments you do have widevine l1 select this and then tap on certificate make sure active internet connection is still there and it should download a certificate for us it is waiting there it is let us be patient and wait for it to do its job there it is updated successfully and certificate update is today's date which is 14th july 2021 we can now go to the home screen open your application drawer and herein you should have an application called service and feedback here it is services and feedback next up open this application it is going to ask for some user agreement so select agree of course it does need some permissions as well so allow those next thing tap on the three dot menu on the top right and say generate logs herein we have different options let us use the phone signal and mobile network one say generate log and then we can say finish and upload make sure issue is selected describe your issue so widevine l1 is broken next thing it wants you to select would be the item so herein you can scroll down and you know select third party items and then select whatever application you are having issues with with respect to your widevine l1 playback you can always choose drm info as well but i do prefer you choose say prime video or netflix and once you choose that you will have the option of entering the time so make sure you are using the correct date and time over here enter your phone number email whatever make sure add logs is checked and then send that report once you've sent the report you will get a unique id copy that unique id and tweet it over to alvin along with your device's name another thing on the poco f1 for those of you who do not know netflix never certified this device for l1 but prime did so let me go ahead and sign into my prime account and show you something else so here it is i am on the prime home page and let us say i go into this the tomorrow war movie right when i try to download it you will see right now it is showing me as 5.41 gb which means that widevine l1 might be in effect but when i try to play it the first time i play it i got an error right so this is the error which i get error code license service call failure so this i think i think this is important because when i say okay right and now if i try to download it you will notice the file sizes have gone down dramatically which means widevine l1 is no longer in effect and even if you try to continue watching it will not be in l1 so once you've sent the first report id along with your device go back and repeat the steps 
repeat the same steps i showed you generate the logs again because this time around we did play around with prime video as well or you can also check your netflix if you have a poco device which was certified by netflix and l1 is not working all of a sudden so repeat these steps and send over the report along with your device name to alvin tweet of course is in the description of this video and again those of you who have already given up feel free to ignore don't watch dislike the video those of you who still have some hope because somebody from poco is interacting i do recommend that you send out the report ids along with your device name after following these steps and if he responds back please answer back so that he can help us out that's it that is the only thing you can do rest your device your wish me personally i don't watch any content on my phone i watch it either on my laptop or on my tv so it really doesn't matter to me but i'm still making this video still fighting because i want all of you to have wide wine l1